summer is better with Bombas. Their thoughtfully designed clothes make you feel effortlessly at ease. From breezy, tagless tees, we love that, to second skin soft underwear to perfectly cushioned sweat wicking socks. Their socks are my absolute obsession. You know this, you guys. I just got back from a big trip where we were doing like 15,000 steps a day. You know I brought my Bombas, okay? They kept my feet hugged, secure, loved on while I was absolutely tearing up the sidewalks. Plus, socks, underwear, and t-shirts are the number one, two, and three most requested items in homeless shelters. And that's why for every comfy item you purchase, Bombas donates another comfy item to someone in need. So go to bombas.com slash TMGW and use code TMGW for 20% off your first purchase. That's bombas, B-O-M-B-A-S, dot com slash TMGW with the code TMGW for 20% off your first purchase. Try the socks, I'm telling you. Try the socks. This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Well, then cheers, Grace Helbig. Cheers, Memory Heart. Y'all, it's a morning podcast on a beautiful Tuesday where the sun actually decided to oh rear my. its shy little face. I woke up so happy. Really? It made such a difference. I know. Literally, I mean, I say this dumbass shit all the time, I but know. I'm very affected by weather. And this morning was just like literally like a disney cartoon of opening the curtains and being like oh there it is no you know why too it's the same reason that we've like you know talked about at nauseum of when it rains it's like you have little blinky dog eyes mm-hmm. that like if it, it's been so gross that they look at you and they're like why'd you do this yeah today they prance out uh, into the sun couldn't be happy they get on the little couch yeah. you know i just got two little lizards they're sun dogs they, they love it out there sun dogs speaking of blinky eyes oh my god we're getting right into it you guys <laughs> i got here and the i was elephant unloading. in the room uh memory cut me off as i walked back here to unload my stuff and was like look at them <laughs> okay it's like they don't look honestly that bad let's let's I, start from the beginning because in my mind all they, we're talking about my eyelashes by eyelashes. the way for, for you guys who listen and don't follow my instagram story i went and got my eyelash extensions refilled yesterday because i got them done to go on vacation so i wouldn't have to like wear much makeup and then um but as you heard about on the pod it kind of hurt and it took yeah. forever so and there were so many lash technicians leaving comments on our youtube being like really? i am crying listening to memory's story about this it should never ever hurt oh. you should be going somewhere else i think i got the newbie yeah you know what i mean yeah. you know when you go to something and you're like oh you can tell you're the new dental assistant that's the uh, speaking of eyelash extensions this is a memory just came back up Uh during the pandemic when i had to go get an upper endoscopy and they put me under the girl that was giving me my intravenous stuff had the most crazy long eyelash extensions and she missed my vein (gasps) she couldn't see like over and over again and it was yeah it was oh man she couldn't see it no so i came back they say, you know, after three weeks, you might want to get like a little refill done, mm-hmm. whatever, you know, because they they come out naturally. I didn't realize like how often your eyelashes fall out. Your you natural know, eyelashes. Like that they cycle out. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Because yeah. I'm like, so what happens? Like sometimes the actual just the glued on lash will come off. But then if they're done well, like you kind of grow out your eyelashes. Right, right. You know? So anyway, I come back and my friend Kiwi, who I wrote the movie with recently, yeah. She was like, oh, I have the best girl. Like, her name is Swan. And she... That sounds like a great eyelash technician. Already, already, I'm living for the vibes. She was like, she's in (laughs) WeHo. She does it in, like, 30 minutes. That's great. And I know Kiwi is, like, also would never would never let herself be in an ounce of pain for half a second. Yes. She's a comfortable queen. She's a comfort <laughs> queen. The girl eats key lime pie for breakfast. Oh, uh, uh, um, a goddess after my own heart. Dessert for breakfast. Like you guys would really. Yeah. I, I was going to her house a couple weeks ago and she was like, can you stop by proof? Which is like, you know, the nice bakery in yeah. town, which always has a line. Yeah. And it was a Sunday. And okay. she was like, can you stop by proof and pick up an order for me? And I was like, Ki-. she goes, you can cut the line for a pre-order. And I was like, Kiwi. There's 40 hipsters standing in line for croissants, <laughs> pan au chocolat. I was like, I'm going to get murdered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, no, you do it all the time, please, yeah, please. And so I do it. I'm getting daggers in my head. 
<laughs> and then I look, I, I just, I finally get someone's attention. Yeah. And like, as everyone wants to kill me. And I was like, I'm picking up an order. They're like, for Kiwi, 50 raspberry linzers. She got 50 cookies Wait, to put, said to put in her freezer. Yeah, yeah. She, I've had to do it for her multiple times. Anyway, oh, the okay. comfort queen. So I was like, I'm going to go to her eyelash person. Yeah, this makes sense. Totally. So, and it was great. Like, I just texted. It was yeah. like, I show up in WeHo. She's got, she's in like one of those buildings where, it's almost like an office rental, but just for beauty stuff. Okay. You know what I mean? Like yeah. probably when someone's like, I don't want to work at a nail salon. Yeah. You, I got my own clients. You just come to me. So right. it's, it was like a little building. So I, I get there. She's adorable. Sit down. It's all comfortable. Doesn't hurt at all. And I just realized I was, she was like, so same length. And I was like, yes, but I didn't say, so I didn't go into detail of about like how many. Oh, like fill. Like- so actual amount she's putting in there. Oh. So, oh yeah, because there's like the thickness and the girth. <laughs> right, there's the, there's, <laughs> there's the, the size. And the girth. Yeah, <laughs> there's the size, but there's also like you know the population. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So I'm sitting there, you know, eyes closed. We're doing it. It does. It's so much better. I can't even tell you. It was Night like day. it was like getting Novocaine versus like but ripping out your tooth like uh, Tom Hanks in. Wow. What's that movie? He's on an island. Castaway. Castaway. Never saw it. <laughs> <laughs> but I believe, yeah, he probably. It was a did. really good analogy <laughs> I just made. Yeah, I, we were watching an alien documentary the other day, okay. and one of the experts in the that was talking in one of the, the clips just had the bo- volleyball from Castaway Stop in it. the background. I was Wilson? like, yeah, I was like, this is where the alien documentaries go wrong. They yes. do something to delegitimize themselves. Yes. <laughs> Totally, like just have one producer be like, now let's scrub yeah. the back of anything that might be like, oh, this guy's just a, f- a fucking dork. Yeah. Um, but so anyway, it's all good. As I'm getting it done, and you mm-hmm. know, your eyes are closed, someone just comes in mm-hmm. and like doesn't acknowledge, doesn't say like, oh, sorry, I didn't know you had an appointment. Yeah, yeah. Just comes in, goes, hey, Swan. I was like, oh, no, what's <laughs> happening? And she was like, when are we going to finish my hair? What color do you think I should do? And so I just listen as she flips like through a magazine and Swan is doing my <laughs> eyelashes while being like, no, I think the toner, like, no, I think we need, no, that's that's too light. And I'm like, there's this whole Jeez. conversation happening. Again, all I'm thinking is what a great time to rob me. Yeah, exactly. What a great time to rob me. So anyway, she finishes. All done. It took like 40 minutes. Okay. As compared to an hour and a half. So it was more comfortable, less time. And so I'm All like. All sounds great so far. My eyes are closed and I'm like, I f- if I want to be a person who ke- like does upkeep, yeah. I found my person. Like I, yeah, it gives you that sense of achievement as an adult of yes. like, I found it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> she hands me a little mirror and I go, oh, <laughs> they're beautiful. Uh, Grace, I couldn't. That's what I wanted to know. I said, uh, in my mind, I'm going, how did she react? Here's the deal is in my head because Mm -hmm. it's jarring regardless. You know what I mean? Like even when I got them done, like more quote unquote naturally. Yeah. It's still like, oh, do I look crazy? You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And so I was like, huh? Like I knew they were more intense. (laughs) But then it's when I left and hit daylight with not, you know, not even a tinted they, moisturizer on. Do they feel like when you walk out and the wind hits your face, like, can you feel them like catching wind? Like, I does get, your eye feel different? I haven't, <laughs> I haven't caught a breeze. Okay, okay. In the last t- 20 hours. Do they touch your sunglasses when you put your sunglasses? These did. They just kiss them These a little did. bit? These did. So <laughs> for you guys who aren't watching, I look like Daisy Duck. I like... <laughs> They don't, honestly, I guess... They're insane, Grace. They don't look that, to me, uh, truly, they don't look that bad. They look like you got eyelash extensions. Like, the people that I've seen get eyelash extensions... No one be like, she has pretty eyelashes. I guess maybe the last ones you got were slightly more natural. Natural. Yeah, so they don't look... uh, that bad, but these look like how I've seen most people get eyelash extensions, and these are why I think I would not want them, because it would just... I'm too finicky right. about like the sensation of ha- even having just fake eyelashes on mm. for a couple hours. I have no. to take them off. Well, the first few hours with these, mm-hmm. well, first of all, I go outside <sighs> and, you know, you can look in a mirror, but like one knows their face yeah. in a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like that's how we know how we look. And uh-huh. if we look good, bad, weird, whatever, it's through the lens of a front facing camera. Yeah, yeah. So I go outside and I'm like, maybe they're 
and I pull open my camera and I was like, this is fucking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I look like an Instagram filter that yeah. I would like make fun of a friend for using. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you go like, like the, we eyelash, the eyelash filter that yeah. everyone on TikTok puts on uh, automatically when they're just doing a regular talking video. Which I can't do because I just like move around so much that yeah. then the eyelash is like lagging <laughs> and you know, it, it looks like I'm being chased by some type <laughs> some of flying object. <laughs> but so they look fucking nuts. Mm -hmm. um, I get in the car and I'm like, what am I going to do? See, that's the thing that would drive me crazy. The claustrophobia of going, and I don't mean to trigger you i'm okay <laughs> I'm, i've reached a zen mode okay i think i'm just so neurotic with like the sensory stuff that yeah. i feel like it would make me i'd want to rip them out which you right. can't do you That'll, can't i yeah. mean that would be bad yeah that would be bad no i uh, you know i felt a little trapped yeah and i just kept pulling out my phone and looking <laughs> great I, I immediately sent a picture of my friend jacqueline and i was like oh no <laughs> Oh no. And then I and then I went to Trader Joe's and left my sunglasses on. Cause I felt so crazy. I felt so crazy. I just hoping I don't run into anyone I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I I was like, I gotta get ahead of this. Right. So then I Instagram story being like, guys, check like check this yeah, out. Yeah. Now You're only as sick as your secrets. I say. mean <laughs> Exactly. So luckily, like Besides this podcast and yeah. what we choose to put on Instagram story, yeah. I have no reason to see anyone ever. There you go. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm not like freaked out. But so I, you know, I go on Instagram and it was a clear down the line of people just caps locks. Ha 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 ha. Like, thanks all you strangers so who just made it worse. So rude. But, you know, I'm setting myself up for that. Sure. I was like, look, I'm in comedy. Yeah. Like, Eric Andre will gain 50 pounds to be funny. Yeah. Like, I have three weeks of eyelash extensions. Yeah, is that how long they last? Well, if they're done, I don't know, because I don't know the quality of her work. Right. But so, here's the deal. So, uh, I'm, I'm getting... I'm glad you've named her by name on this podcast. <laughs> that's, that's her nickname. Oh, okay. That's her okay, nickname. Okay. Uh, according to her Redmo, that's not her real name. Okay. So, anyway, I... And she does great work. Yeah. I... I fucked up. But this is what people want when they get yes. eyelashes. That's why I'm saying to me, this is what eyelash extensions look like. When yeah. you when someone says they got them, like this is what I've seen, which I'm always like, people want that? Like I, I Thanks a lot, Grace. I don't mean it like that. Oh my God. I mean it like I mean it like you're getting something that yes. is different than your natural eyelashes. Well, yeah, like here's the deal. It's kind of like uh, and I was talking to Chip about it yesterday when he was like, no, babe, you know, you look cute. Like, yeah. Whatever. I was like, all right. Um, this absolutely. I love it at night going to dinner. Right. You have a little makeup on yeah. a cute outfit. Yeah. It's the it's the stark day. No makeup. Yeah. Trader Joe's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't make sense. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like going out to like check your mail mm -hmm. with a with, with a smoky eye. Yeah. Yeah, You're like, smoky it. eyes are nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like wearing a glitter high heel to yes, the grocery store. Totally. It's just like, this doesn't, it looks it doesn't left compute. over. Yeah, yeah. Like, you look like, oh, she had a good night. And you're like, actually, I'm <laughs> no, no. It's, you mean the collective she? I, I'm only agreeing with your comparisons <laughs> of what you're saying. I walked in this morning and said they don't look bad to me at all. Well, the thing is, is I had put on a little tinted moisturizer and a yeah. little pink lip. So then it was like. I was kind I'm yeah. you I, might get I used say to I'm them. done up. Uh, my hair is 3 <laughs> days dirty. I'm wearing got my own merch, no deodorant and cut off jorts <laughs> and like slides and I'm like, you know, I'm done up today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's for dinner? If that question stresses you out like it does me, listen up. Hungry Root will fill your fridge with healthy food and simple recipes so you can fill your schedule with stuff that you enjoy doing more. Hungry Root is the easiest way to get fresh, high quality food delivered to your door. They've got healthy groceries and super simple recipes all in one place. You take a fun, short quiz and Hungry Root will get to know you, your goals, how you like to eat, like what flavors do you like? What kind of kitchen appliances do you actually use? They'll keep your needs top of mind and start building you a cart. Hungry Root will recommend groceries based on your tastes and you can take their suggestions or choose anything you want. They've got fresh produce, high quality meat and seafood, pantry staples, healthy snacks and sweets, and much more. And if you're like me where you're dabbling in healthier options but you don't really know what to try and going to an actual physical grocery store gives you huge anxiety, they have so many options for you that you can browse through for the comfort of your own from 
home, excuse me, the comfort of your own home, especially if you're like experimenting with gluten-free stuff like I am, they got you covered. Hungry Root goes beyond your weekly grocery haul with thousands of easy recipes that actually put your groceries to good use before you forget that they're in the back of the fridge and they go bad. The best part is everything that Hungry Root offers follows a simple standard. It's got to taste good, be quick to make, and contain whole, trusted ingredients. So spend less time shopping and cooking and more time enjoying healthy food that you'll actually love with Hungry Root. Right now, Hungry Root is offering, this might get weird listeners, 30% off your first delivery and free veggies for life. You heard me. Go to HungryRoot.com slash TMGW to get 30% off your first delivery and get your free veggies. That's HungryRoot.com slash TMGW. Don't forget to use our link so they know that we sent you. No, but so I decided we're going to Palm Springs tomorrow because uh-huh. I perfect was, place for these guys. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, uh, but I'm not going to see anyone like right. the only time I'll see anyone is when we go to dinner. Exactly. So then it makes sense. But so I decided like, you know, have fun with them this week. Yeah, I immediately got a message from my friend Laura, who I know from Bar Rescue. Uh-huh. And she uh, she was like, oh, I have I have like the best person, you know, and she's okay. in WeHo. And I looked at the thing and their whole thing is make it natural. Oh, okay. Like they there look like they don't do the other kind. Right. They're like, no, we're just doing natural. Yeah. And so I called uh-huh. <laughs> because I don't, I've heard like you can get them removed if you need you to. Can. Okay. It's just a waste of a hundred bucks. Right. You know? Right. Right. So, but they don't, they have like a, a solution that will, you put it on there, you let it rest for a while and then like the glue yeah. will like, you know. So, but I was like, then that's like throwing the money away whatever so i call and i'm like hi and the sweetest little voice like total asmr artist (laughs) yeah and i was like hi here's the deal i just got my lashes done somewhere else and i look like a freak (laughs) i was just like it's crazy it's halloween over here yeah uh it's uh the uh (laughs) what's the lady marmalade video yeah um so i was like do you guys do eyelash removal Mm. and she was like we do she was like we we if you didn't get them done here, yeah, um, just because we don't know how exactly they were done, right. we we need you to like book a second service. So if you wanted to get them removed, but then do like a lash tint and oh, lift okay. or like, you know, something like that, we can do it because the, the removal itself is only like 30 bucks. Oh, OK. But they don't want to leave you with what it looks like when they're removed. Is that I think thing? it's just more like we're not going to make an appointment for thirty dollars. Oh, I see. You I know see. what I mean? Yeah. 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 So uh, so I was like, oh, OK. And she's like, yeah, just book it. And like and we can do something else. And so in my head, I was like, well, if I have to book an additional thing. Yeah. Let's just have fun with it for five days. Yeah. And you're then, probably going to get used to it. I don't want to, though. OK. Yeah. You know fair. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like that's when fair. I got too into spray tans. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, we don't want my bar to change. <laughs> I don't have to get used to this. Yeah. It's the reality. I don't, I don't want to get used to this, you know, because yeah. that's what it's a slippery fucking slope. Oh, and then, I know. I've had my fair share of extensions otherwise. Right, right. Where then you go, looking back, you go, huh. Because then when you take it off, I don't want to then take off these crazy right. lashes and then be like, oh, I, I look need I look naked. Right. You right, know, like right. with the with the extensions, yep. like you didn't need 15 pounds of I hair. Had, I had like three people's worth of hair already. <laughs> and yep. I added more that wasn't color matched at first. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I've gone through many uh, a trip with extensions of sorts. Do you know the huge Muppet in the Muppet band? What's the name? Uh, Dr. Electric Mayhem, whatever. Dr. Teeth in the Electric Mayhem. Do you uh, know the big one, Sweetums? Sweetums? That's kind of yeah. what. <laughs> that's kind of your yeah, extension. 100%. 100. <laughs> Y'all Google image Muppet Sweetums. Look, I was walking into our live shows and pulling them out accidentally. So, like, I've been on a journey with extensions. You uh, guys dared me to rip one out on stage in front of we everyone. Did. It was great. It was a good time. So, long story short, I look like a Muppet. I look, I, I mean, even with Christy, fucking. <laughs> Fucking Link Neal's wife. Yeah. She just, just was like, ha, 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 and sent two <laughs> spider emojis. I was like, how dare you, Christy? She's the how sweetest woman on earth. On earth. And she was so sweet. And she sent, like, follow-up stuff. But oh. I was just like, oh, my God. I, I'm i glad that I went on there and was just like, I'm aware. No, you got ahead of it. You did your own PR. Well, this is what I can't imagine. Like, that same, like, cla- claustrophobia or, like, yeah. the point of no return anxiety. Yeah. Like, I left there and 
was like, can you imagine leaving a tattoo parlor and going, that's not what I asked right, for. Right, 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 right. Like that brought like this one little thing that's yeah. like a tiny three week bump in the road. I yeah. was like, oh, but this is just so reversible and I'm in comedy. I, this yeah. is a bit, you know, like who cares? Yeah. But like the idea of leaving when you see those bad tattoos where people are like, I got in my car and just cried. Oh my God. Yeah, exactly. But you can now go down to Palm Springs and like play into the bit. Get That's dressed what I'm up. Saying. Be a, live your fantasy down live there. My fantasy. <laughs> oh my Ooh, god. Uh, what a journey. Uh, truly. I mean, I feel like I look good. Oh, I like them. Speaking of looking good. Yeah. I got you a tiny tiny um souvenir from <gasps> Rome. What? Okay, hold on. I'm got to reach to get it. Oh my god. Vamp, vamp. Okay, I was going to talk about this blind pimple that I have on my eyes. Oh, wait. <laughs> Do you know <laughs> What's a blind pimple? When it's like under your skin. I have one on my ch- between my boobs right now. Really? That I feel like it's just decided to sign a lease. I yeah, this, it won't leave. I found this last <laughs> night. I was like, do I have a headache? And then touched my like it's weird on like. Can I the, feel it? Yeah. Okay. You feel that lump right there? Yeah, but it doesn't yeah. feel like a pimple. Right. It doesn't feel like a pimple because it's way under the surface. I get these like in my eyebrows a lot. You got pimply brows? I get pimple brows like crazy <laughs> the is... last couple months. No, and I, I don't know if it's is. like a thing. And I don't want to Google it because I don't need the imagery of other people's pimple eyebrows situations. I know. Up. That's the tough thing about looking up a, a weird, gross thing No, on your I just body. get blind pimples <laughs> sometimes like <laughs> I never heard them called that. this area. I don't know where I learned that. I think that's what they're called. It makes sense because they don't have a head. So. <laughs> a decapitated yeah, pimple. Yeah, a decapitated pimple. It's just so sore. You know, yeah. you get those pimples that are just so sore. So it like, it's like, feels like, am I getting a migraine or right. do I have... And I've been super into pimple um, stickers lately. See, Big fan of those. I love that we do that now, that we're just like telling our skin good job. <laughs> like, they look like... <laughs> You know, when you were younger yes. and you got stickers for the like star. you did the, your task. Congratulations. I've never used one. I do find it interesting like how people just like rock them out in public. Yeah, I haven't gotten the courage to do that yet. Yeah. Um, but I, I like wearing them at home. I get the I have these clear ones that honestly, I forget that I'm wearing them. They blend into your skin so mm. well and they're really fun. But um, yeah, that was my first note on my podcast notes today. Was was, just, anyone else going, how does everyone else <laughs> deal with their blind pimples? Because they last so much longer and you can't like pop them right. or anything. No, so I painful. hear you. I wonder if it's because hmm. your eyebrows are kind of the sweat towel yeah of your face i think that's this, when you work out from I, your sweaty brow totally i think it's twofold one i it might be from my eyebrow filler like the gel that i wear oh, okay um two like that's clogging now I pores see it. now you've rubbed off a little makeup right. now i see so it so now you see it two <laughs> i wear an eye mask every night so oh, I think, girl, it's that. Yeah, it's so gotta be it that. <laughs> yeah, but it's like I don't want to give up my eye mask. I love it, and yeah. most times at night it falls off in the middle of the night anyway. Anyway, that's my big eye journey <laughs> this week. <laughs> oh, we're giving you the inside Guys, look at our eyes. So you're relating to us on different levels. Okay. Okay. So, uh, someone had slid into my DMs and was like, "You have to go find this in Rome." And it's so pure, but I guess, I don't know if this is an every year thing they do, Okay, but they do a calendar <gasps> of the hottest <laughs> priests in Rome. Oh, God. And it's so pure because they're priests. Right. It's not like shirtless firefighter ones. And they it's the Calendario Romano 2024. What the Rome's fuck? hottest priests. This gives me mixed feelings. Does it? But if you look on the back, some of them are legit hot. I like mean, if you picture are... them out of their priest these Where? look like very Italian yeah, men. Yeah, they are. They are. Uh, they are. That look like Abercrombie and Fitch <laughs> models. Yeah. But just priests give me a little oh, anxiety yeah. in a, a oh, variety of ways. All, all things But um, I love too clergy. that some of these pictures are just like, one is Marzo for March is literally sniffing something from someone's hand that they're being offered Who knows? from the I side? think some of these are more candid. We'll have to put pics up on Patreon. Wow. The September we'll rate them. September priest is, is sultry. He's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like he's he's uh, cleansing my sins. He's cleansing, <laughs> yeah, with with your own bodily fluids. Um wow. so yeah, so there's a little treat. <laughs> so many of these pictures are so bad. I know they're terrible photos. <laughs> because they're like, I don't want 
I don't even know. Like, did they sign a release right, some to of be these in this are calendar? Just, like, candid photos that someone took from a distance of yes. them in a group. Setting. Yeah, that one's really hot. Yeah, yeah. Um, but so anyway, there it is. Well, I got thank you. I got you and my uh, gay bestie Steve one. Oh my god, <laughs> I can't wait to hear what Steve thinks. Of this. I know because you guys, you know, are both have uh, backgrounds in Catholicism. We, yes, I thought yes. you'd appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. And you can get info at calendarioromano.org. They ship worldwide. Okay. So there you go, guys. Wow. Thank you so much. Anyway, so I brought home that and five pounds. (laughs) (laughs) And no regrets. No regrets. No regrets. No regrets. Uh, I posted on Instagram this morning asking like what people wanted to talk about. So many people wanted to talk about the um, submarine that's lost. Dude. This thing's fucking crazy, this story. I have so much... Talk about claustrophobia. Anxiety. Yeah, the claustrophobia. Like, that's my worst case scenario. You worst case. You couldn't pay me enough to go in a submarine. I have zero, yeah. below zero, sub-zero, subhuman interest in going in I a submarine. I rarely go underwater in a pool. <laughs> I hardly go to the ocean. You guys heard my scuba dive story mm-hmm. from when I went to Hawaii, mm-hmm. then immediately had a panic attack. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no fucking way. I looked at Chip. Because here's the crazy thing about the submarine, which I'm sure you, you, yeah. I mean, there's a million things. One, it's a controlled by like an a Xbox controller. controller. Like f- that to me is not a legitimate company. There's a handle on it from Camper World on the inside. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. I mean, like this is all a very sad story, but like in general, thinking of before they took it down, like you, to make sure it's airtight, mm-hmm. you would get in and then someone on the outside. Zzz, 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 yeah, could, like does the nuts and bolts from the outside to make yeah. sure it's airtight so that even if something happened and you freaked out and they came up to to yeah. above water, someone have to undo it. I looked at Chip and I go, I could barely be strapped in by Velcro like for the MRI I did. Yeah, exactly. And you're telling and me like, they get in there and he- and can hear a drill. Uh uh-uh. uh, it's all. I mean, it's it, everything about it is the opposite of anything that I desire in this lifetime. It is yeah. one the uh, the poetic dark irony of going to try and see the titanic who cares exactly well the (laughs) the one of the guys that's on i mean it's with all sensitivity this is a tragic situation but it's also a a wildly like fucked up situation all the way around too a little i mean it just in my own personal like what people should do with their money a quarter of a million dollars to go do that oh i didn't know how much it cost not a quarter of a million yes a quarter of a million two hundred fifty thousand dollars no, I think it was more. Was it one more than of the, that, or was it like they actual millions? One of the passengers is like a billionaire yeah. adventurist, and uh, it's just insane to me. Yeah. And the uh, submarine itself is called Titan. Oh, really? And like the mythology of the Titans is that they got the shit kicked out of them by the Olympian gods. Yeah, like choose a better. <laughs> like, guys, we can't keep like that was the whole all of these like historians say like the irony of it being called the Titanic. Like that was a losing battle. And right. like Titan is like these gods that were like, uh, I, I'm no mytho- mythological Somebody historian. Somebody studied Latin. No, Elliot's telling me about this stuff, too, oh. that it's like the like the symbolism of like what this ship is called and its reference in actual mythology is like not good or winning Mm. or surviving Mm -mm. yeah it is it is two hundred fifty thousand dollars wow that is so insane isn't that crazy like i i think i just thinking right now Mm -hmm. about and i think i've done this before which is why i have this point of reference thinking about going to an imax movie Mm -hmm. about a titan the titanic yeah. and like just even the idea of watching a movie where they're that deep in the ocean yeah no thank scares you. the shit out of yeah me. can't do it from the comfort of a dry theater no. i could not watch a you know whatever a water drone is no i there. don't you even tried to go scuba diving that's i would that's saying. never something i wanted to oh, no okay i get it it was free there was the navy seals leading us so no, i was okay with it i get that people want to explore the ocean but like to me i'm good i'm yeah. okay on that oh absolutely i don't get in water unless it's clear right and this is like an ongoing situation so it's just like wild that this is uh by the time this podcast even comes out there's gonna be news on here's it. the thing if you were fascinated with the Titanic and mm-hmm. all that jazz and history and you went down there because you just really wanted to see the boat and this mm-hmm. and that, like skele- get a, skeletons, get a VR headset, it's skeletons, right? Get it's a skeleton city down there. Yeah. Yeah. Get a VR headset 
and explore it from the comfort of your own well, living room. As you know, as we, you all know, if you watched this when it was still a web series yes. and not a podcast, Grace and I can't even do can't even a see, VR headset can't even in the ocean. Virtually go down there. Can't, we can't even we can't. And, screaming. Uh, yeah, the the most guttural and frightening screams that I've ever uttered in my adult life yep. live online for all to oh, see. Full fear. This summer, HelloFresh is here to take the work out of eating well. Reach your goals with delicious, calorie smart, and protein smart lunch and dinner options. Plus, you know I love it, vegan recipes too. You can get farm to table quality ingredients with HelloFresh boxes. HelloFresh's seasonal ingredients are picked at peak ripeness and travel from the farm to your doorstep in less than seven days for fresh flavor and every bite you guys if you're going to the grocery store you are not getting food that fresh not only that but when you get hello fresh it's perfectly portioned i know i have uh, a tendency to go to the grocery store and get enough food for six people when there's only two of us eating hello fresh makes me less wasteful plus it's not just the healthy stuff oh no they make entertaining easy with a selection of crowd-pleasing eats like their bratwurst bar with caramelized onions Dijonese slaw and pineapple relish or a snack board with pretzel bites spiced bar nuts hot honey peach jam and they've even got s'mores bundles for kids that's right you guys we are making s'mores tonight HelloFresh not only helps me waste less it's actually uh, cheaper than grocery shopping did you know it's 25% less expensive than takeout. You guys, save some money. I love HelloFresh for when I know I have like a really busy week coming up and I just don't have time to conceptualize and go to the grocery store and all the hours you actually put in to make a meal at home. HelloFresh takes that pressure off of you, especially because it's summer. You're going to be entertaining guests. You're going to be going off and traveling. Don't You don't want all your groceries just rotten in the fridge. So if you want to give it a try, go to HelloFresh.com slash TMGW16 and use code TMGW16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. That is insane. HelloFresh.com slash TMGW16 and use code TMGW16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. It is America's number one meal kit. But speaking of screaming. Yeah, yeah. I went to Blink-182 on Saturday. I know. So many people were asking if you went to the show where Kourtney Kardashian no, okay. announced her pregnancy, which I thought was great. Look, no, we got... Oh. Okay, well, we're about to we're about to uh, battle. Okay, okay. Well, first of all, I didn't go. They played two nights. Yeah, Friday night. Um, like I guess when they announced it, sold out immediately, mm -hmm. and then there was Saturday night. So, I'll, in general, we'll get to the Courtney thing. But I just wanted to say, I had no idea they were that popular. I know. I had I, no idea. I uh, you had asked me because wasn't this a Christmas thing that you it was? Did? It was a it was Christmas gift for Chip. Yeah, and I told you because I was like, hey, I'm getting these for Chip. I know. Do you want to get them for I Elliot? Had immediate Aren't we cute, you guys? Oh, so cute. So cute. We're so cute. <laughs> I had immediate regret really? uh, when I saw that they were. I was like, oh, and then tickets got so expensive yeah. in the last month. Yeah. Oh, really? Were they wild? I was looking to see like, oh, shit. Because like general they... admission floor. It was a couple hundred for like seats uh, up above. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what, I mean, I got like, you know, it's probably by the end. It's what I got mine for. Right. But um, I got these back in, yeah, in December. Um, But so I had no clue they were this popular. Yeah. I mean, I knew like all the small things and like, how are you? And <laughs> yeah. you know, like a couple, <laughs> a couple of them and like the lore. Yeah. But you know, I feel like they were like their height of stuff. I was already in college. Yeah. They were like of. the height. I remember it was like in high school for me and the it was TRL. When, TRL yes. And it was like the making of the music video. I feel like they had so many yes. making the music videos and they were like, they had the one where they were fully just making fun of um, boy bands. That was yeah. so great. Is that the one where they're running around naked the yes. whole time? Yeah. And that was like a cultural moment that people are like, oh my God, a look how dick. fucking funny these guys are. And look how lame boy bands are. Well, <laughs> spoiler, they're still hilarious. Are they? Because we went to the Angels and Airways concert mm. last year that um, Tom, which one? DeLong, the aliens yeah. one. Yeah. In, yeah. And I was like, whoa, this is crowded and people love them. OK. No, it was. I didn't. I was going in with like very low expectations sure. and I knew it was going to be a big show because like it was at the soccer stadium here. Yeah. So the BMO or whatever. So I knew it was going to be big. But then we got there and like just to see all these adults so excited <laughs> and then it's like everyone's childhood well i just i think i 
Maybe it's also this might. I don't know if this tracks, but like mm. I grew up in the middle of fucking nowhere. Right. And so we didn't have a lot of like pop punk people mm. in high school. Oh, South Jersey was like, yeah, ska, punk, all of it. Yeah. I, I, like at my high school, you were either like a redneck or you listened to rap. Mm, mm-hmm. And like that was kind of it. Like, yeah, there was no. I, I don't think there was one person who had like gauges in their ear. You know what yeah, I mean? Like it was me my brother's gauges, oh, yeah. tattoos, yeah. the back of his neck pierced, like crazy totally. shit. <laughs> um, my brother too, but then he immediately dropped out and <laughs> moved back to New Jersey at 16 years old. Um, but so I think I didn't realize how popular they were just because that wasn't the vibe yeah. where I grew up. And then being there, I was like, oh, this is a massive production. Mm-hmm. Like, pyrotechnics like all the visuals like people going crazy like travis yeah. barker's like whole drum kit just lift it That's like fun i was like this is fucking great and yeah. i also didn't know how many songs i knew yeah 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 but i was like oh right oh Get right so i was really surprised at how much i loved it they had great banter of course they have a song about aliens and <laughs> it's mark hopper's being like turns out tom was right he's right along he was like yeah you fucks i was right i know there's like a whistleblower that just happened and elliot was like mark hoppus is tweeting this hoppus. at tom DeLong, being like maybe want to check this out dude i mean and it was so great they had like a guy, literally a guy in an alien suit crowd surfing. That's great. That's great. Damn, I'm so upset we they didn't had, go. They had a mosh, you know, pit yeah. go, going. And of course, we were like, we stayed back. I was like, <laughs> I have I have no desire to get elbowed in the fucking no. face. Um, but it was still like the energy felt exciting. Yeah. And then they just like made fun of each other the whole time. You know, like Tom DeLonge is fully making just like, I had sex with your mom jokes. Like <laughs> frozen still in time. 16 years old. Yeah. They're still 16. You know, like he says something and then Mark just goes like, oh, or what? You're going to quit the band again? <laughs> like, and then what I loved about it, which segues us to Travis, yeah. is like, first of all, his drumming is insane. Yeah. Like he really, the amount of stamina is what's so crazy oh, to me. Yeah. Is like every single song felt like it was the most intense workout of all time. And then he just did that for an hour and 45 minutes. It's crazy. Crazy. But so he's doing it. He doesn't have a mic, whatever. And then like towards the end of the show, they're like, if you got to the audience, they're like, if you guys are really good, we can get Travis on the mic. And everyone's like, <laughs> you know, goes crazy. He brings over the mic to Travis, holds it up and Travis just goes, Hey, and then, <laughs> and then, and then everyone freaks out. He said one. Hey, the whole show was great. it was so cute they have their bits it was great but okay now talking about we were there the second night right the first night Courtney Kardashian held up a sign that said Travis I'm pregnant yeah during all the small things which is a reference to a music video that they had uh back in the day oh was it so that's the reason I think it's I thought it was oh. at first I thought it was just her coming up with some stupid thing to do in the audience turns out one of their music videos might be all the small things i don't know there's literally a girl holding a sign that says travis i'm pregnant mm. while they're playing so i she, had no idea that's the reason i was like oh this is layered there she's why do i have cold chills i know why See, do i have cold chills now i came saying. in here ready to battle i know that's what i'm saying that at first i was like oh this is kind of cute but what and then i was like oh no this is direct reference to one of their old okay. music videos i'll tell you what i was originally saying I okay like because like obviously they're filming the kardashians and like all the kardashians right. were there also right. i just kept like when i was thinking about kim and chris and all of them like in a box watching <laughs> watching the show i just kept picturing that their minds being blown by like that's legit talent right, like what travis right. barker does he is so good at and what he does they're it's such a contrast to why you guys are rich and they're so silly like yeah. The one guy fucking outwardly loves and is funding alien research. Yeah, the other yeah. guy survived cancer. Yeah. They're like shit talking each other with each other. And the Kardashians are just sitting. They're like, so. Like, I know. I could just picture Chris so being like, he's compared. so good. Yeah, exactly. Look at And you have guys moshing and like yeah. scoff yeah. kicking People each other. People losing their minds and Kim being like, what is happening? <laughs> what it's just like trap there's something like a little sweet and dirty about yes. like the audience there and, and i then, can picture all the and all black just. and then courtney just open mouth breathing <laughs> as she watches him like it was uh, just the dichotomy of imagining them vocal front but being like in awe right of like oh your husband's 
really insanely good. good at what he does. Yeah. Um, it's inspiring. But anyway, the thing I was like, I didn't know the reference to mm-hmm. the music video. So I was like, this is fucking stupid because mm-hmm. he knew she was pregnant. Right. That's the thing I saw afterwards, the photos. I was like, oh, she's really far along. Well, so how would he not know this? Well, they did IVF. They've like really been trying. Yeah. So I'm like, there's no way you're announcing yeah. to the public you're pregnant unless yeah. you're like mid second trimester right, like whatever right. like you're taking no chances yeah and in that case your show like you would have told your husband right. we're pregnant right a lot earlier i don't think they haven't seen each other for like three months <laughs> yeah totally so in my head i was like oh this is just a dumb clip they want for, for the, the kardashians mm. and then i got mad because then i was like <laughs> this band is reunited as a threesome for the first time in forever how dare <laughs> Courtney Kardashian try to steal the spot. Like if I was Mark or Tom <laughs> yeah. DeLong, I'd be like, "Fucking great! Like we're playing L.A. sold out crowd, amazing stadium, and the biggest headline is like I, you guys." But I did love when you watch the clip of it. You can. Oh, hear, I haven't watched the clip. I've watch, only seen stills. Watch the clip because literally it's Mark going. Well, it looks like we got a surprise in the audience that someone's dick still works. <laughs> That's literally, and they both just start making fun of his dick like yes. immediately while she's holding up this sign. I was like, what a stupid moment. Okay, now I'm into it. You convinced me, Grace. See, I look, I got some context because I too was like, this is really stupid and looks like truly super planned yes. to be like look i'm just like a fun quirky creative person and oh, then i was like Courtney. oh this is kind of fun this is a reference Do you watch the kardashians not at all i forgot that they're still on i forget that they've built an empire because of a tv show that's yeah. the part i always forget uh, because you, i've never watched you forget because like first of all they've been doing it for 20 years yeah but like it was originally when they got the show it was because kim was literally friends with paris hilton and like oh. and and like starting was to get traction. Was she like working for her or stylist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or whatnot. <laughs> um, and because of Bruce Jenner, and they were just like a rich family in Beverly Hills. Because yeah. I told you they went to the same church as my dad and stepmom. Right. right. And I remember going to a, a Christmas Eve service, and my dad being like, "That's Bruce Jenner mm. and his kids." Yeah. And us like sitting behind them, and me having like who right you know what i mean yeah 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 yeah. um wild story i mean their their whole empire is wild it's studied in classrooms now really yeah it's crazy well more power i mean honestly for me i'm like more power to them yeah (laughs) like good for you they really i mean there's something really smart about the way that they do everything that seems so superficial and shallow Mm -hmm. did you see j-lo's um yes father's day homage to ben affleck I thought it was <gasps> insane. I went, <gasps> clutch some <laughs> invisible pearls. I saw someone post it on their story and I thought it was like a photoshopped thing. Yeah, no. For I went, I saw something, some article about it online and then I clicked through because I don't follow her on Instagram. I forget that celebrities have Instagrams where right. they just post whatever the fuck they want. Or yeah, through after it's been approved by a massive team. And right. I'm like, so who approved? <laughs> so if you guys don't know this, JLo for Father's Day posted a tribute to her husband ben affleck which makes total sense yes but the lead photo is just like a like a badly lit thirst trap it's like a mirror se- selfie he took it and it's it's, it's you the can, cum gutters you it's can the cum gutters is that what they're called i'm calling them cum gutters, cum gutters. <laughs> I, yeah the the pelvis the pelvis uh, the shutters arrow to the dick the pelvis shutters right there it's the triangle yeah they're visible which just in reference to someone being a father, yeah. just like did not compute for me. And then the next slide is like an edited yes. uh, trailer of her talking about why Ben is a good father of like her doing an interview on The View or something, talking like praising him, which is very sweet. I know, but I was but like, then what? it's like intercut with like photos of him like being with the kids. And I'm like, this is a trailer for Ben Affleck's fatherhood journey. It was so it. Oh. It took me on a emotional journey. I'll well, say. I was also like a little bit like I understand, you know, Z- that's her d- zaddy, zaddy, and like whatnot. But I was also like, uh, are you and Mark Antony civil? Right, I don't because like that. you do have kids with another, like maybe a one little like, yeah, and to my baby daddy right. from a different lifetime. Uh, not that that matters. It was just more like, what intern did she go? Hey, will you pull some clips of me talking nice about Ben? <laughs> 
can we put this can you montage find this? together for me? And bump it up against him with a thirst trap that he sent me which so, you have to assume he yeah. sent her i really hope so because what did she do just go on his phone and take that photo and then use it it's like where has this been sent are they like it's so funny to think about even if you're a celeb <laughs> you're, you're sending photos hot like photos that. to each other that aren't well lit i know there's something so cringy like the mirror could be kind of dirty and you're like oh stars are just like us they're oh they're doing stuff yeah. like this like but <laughs> i wonder like when you get to that level of fame, mm-hmm. like is this an edited version and she got the dick in the pic? Right, right. That's the one. Is she sending back uh, titty pics or are they like, <laughs> we are so famous we could never risk someone like right. breaking into an iCloud? Right. I have no idea. That's why it was so confusing when she posted that. I'm like, like what does she want us to feel with this? Because all we're Cause doing, <laughs> the brain, all the brain is doing is filling in the gaps and seeing a yeah. dong. Like, you know what? You could have cropped this a little higher. Yeah. And I would have been like, okay, she thinks her husband's sexy. But on Father's Day, like, I could see maybe a birthday. But on Father's Day, when we're imagining that the thing that's cropped out Mm -hmm. is the thing that's made the children in his life. And also, (laughs) it's Ben Affleck, who has been famous for (laughs) decades. You can easily Google a hot photo of him from a (laughs) magazine. Anything. Jayla wanted us to know they fuck. Yeah, that they still send each other like sexy photos and stuff. She wanted to go, I want to pull back the curtain and show you that we're a real couple who still sends each other but hot like, photos, do which that, I kind of love. I Look, I don't think there's the only thing that's a little bit off to me about this is the okay. holiday in which this is being shown. Like anniversary, yes. I get birthday, Valentine's I get, Day. Father's Day is a strange holiday that to is. show me a uh, uh, practically addict to invite me to encourage my imagination to think about your husband's dick. The thing that made him a father. <laughs> yes. You know what I would live for, though? Huh? A, a real-time reaction of Jennifer Garner scrolling <sighs> through her Instagram and seeing that. <laughs> and Mark Anthony. And Mark Anthony. Like, can you imagine what, what that little guy is? <laughs> <laughs> Like this guy gets to play Batman and now he gets to do this with that little guy. <laughs> he just seems uh, like a little man to me. Uh, oh, J Lo. Yeah, that made me laugh out loud. She's one of the last few, I feel like, just like, I don't know, there's lots of celebrities, but like, she's on a level like Mariah Carey yeah. where you're like, oh, right. The, the lost generation of divas, like completely yeah. like detached from reality. Yeah. Divas. But also like has worked so incredibly hard. I know. For her shit. So I, it's like, I'm like, you deserve your success. But also Just be nice to people, though, I hope. Uh, yeah. hundred percent that. And also there's something like a little goofy about her or something. It seems like, first of all, she's she a weirdo. <laughs> she's back with Ben Affleck. Yeah. And also now it's posting these thirst traps that I'm like. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, what's a little your someone's letting you do your own uh, social. I love that this podcast became like, you know what? Good for the Kardashians. <laughs> you know what? Good for J Lo. As I sit here with full like Kardashian <laughs> eyelash extensions. Yeah, good for them. I'm sitting here with my hot priest <laughs> calendar. You know, just being like, I'm glad some adult women know what to do <laughs> with their success. <laughs> yeah, we're like, listen, if there's anyone who should be judging millionaires, geniuses. <laughs> yeah. It's these two girls. Look at us. Look how we're branded. Look Look at how how far we've come. Oh, well, I have got to, stars, they're just like us, take beans to the vet. Ooh, I got to go to therapy. Ooh, look at us. We're just taking care of all of the tiny voices. But this was fun. Super fun, guys. Don't forget, we have a Patreon. Yes, Um, it is patreon.com slash this might get weird. Yep. Uh, We post a lot of fun stuff over there. You got a book club thing coming up that'll be announced over there. Oh, hold on. Let me just go ahead and say it because... As per usual, Mm y'all, when it's my book club week or month, I mean, I just don't read it till five days before. Hey, I was the same way last month. Really? Mm -hmm. So if you're thinking of joining Barflies, which uh, we get a lot of questions about this, any tier on Patreon participates in Barflies. It's it's literally just where you go to get the link for the live stream. Mm -hmm. And that's that's five bucks a month. You get Patreon posts, you get like I'll put up pictures of the priests, like all yep. that jazz and barflies. Um, but so if you're thinking about joining, but you're like, oh, but I haven't read this month. Either have I. Yeah. Either have I. So I think we are going to do the barflies on Saturday, July 8th. 
Um, and nice. the book. Oh my god, let me double check. <laughs> Because I, I wanted to do this author because she's like killing it with the kind of like beach reedy stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, but she's had so many freaking books lately. It's a, oh, uh, okay, hold on. Which one did I say? Was it, book? was it, oh God, okay. Don't worry, Switch to don't creator worry, profile. Okay, let me go to our page. Sorry, y'all. Um, no, I have to think about what I want to read next month. I haven't figured it out yet. If anyone out there knows any really good nonfiction mm. books, like kind of easier reads, a little bit lighter. Last r- month we read a more challenging book, so I'd like to make it a little easier. Let yeah. me know. Oh, it's actually, it's called Beach Read. That's <laughs> It's called Beach Read. It's by Emily Henry. I've read one of her books before, um, and it's kind of fun because in the same way, What's Her Face, who did uh, Daisy Jones and the Six and Malibu Rising, mm-hmm. it's it's kind of like its own Marvel universe. Okay. So, like, some of the characters blend over, like, her books are all about like writers and, nice. and like book publishers and book editors and stuff. Fun. So, it's like creates this kind of universe. So, Beach Read, pick it up, join the Barflies. We yes. have a lot of fun there. Yes. <laughs> There we go. Oh, this got weird. (laughs) Yep.